Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Welcome back, friends. Welcome back to another video lecture by Kami Microbiologist. Today, in this video lecture, we are going to talk about Minitol Salt Agar Medium. In short form, we can say MSA. Okay. In the previous videos lecture, in the previous almost seven videos lecture, we talked about the culture media as well as we talked about the types of the culture media. If you miss this video lecture, so go back to my channel and watch this video. So, what is menthol salt agar medium? So, let's talk about it. First of all, let's start with the introduction. This menthol salt agar medium is also called Chapman agar. Why? Because it was first discovered by this scientist. And this scientist used this media for the isolation of Staphylococcus aureus. This media actually contain some special types of ingredient which is the high concentration of the salt or NACL that can stop the growth of gram-negative bacteria. And not only gram-negative bacteria but some of the gram-positive bacteria as well. Due to the presence of menthol salt just like in gram negative media like in macon kiegar and in emb media it contain lactose so, so when lactose is fermented so then acid is produced which we detected by phenol red indicator and the ph will be dropped down just like in this case phenol red is also present and when menthol salt is fermented so then acid is produced and which we detected it by the yellow turn of the ph indicator okay now how we can use this media let's talk about that mostly we use this media for the isolation of staphylococcus aureus and we mostly use uh, you know isolate the staphylococcus aureus from food or cosmetic antiseptic as well because these are the s specific uh, sites uh, where the salt concentration is uh, uh, sometime high or sometime less available then we can also use it uh, to isolate the Staphylococcus aureus from swimming pool water, space, drinking water using membrane filtration. So when we, you know, filter the water through a membrane, so after that we have to check uh, whether the bacteria is present in it or not. Although it contains high salt concentration, but still gram-negative bacteria will be not grow, but Staph aureus will be easily grow. So that's why if we want to check it, so we have to use this menthol salt agar medium. Now let's talk about the composition of this media. Remember guys, uh, this media contain these are the most important ingredient of this media as you can see. Okay. So animal tissue digest, animal tissue peptic digest and pancreatic uh, digest of casein. We use it 5 gram for 1 liter. Then, uh, then beef extract, uh, we use it 1 gram for 1 liter. NACL is used 17, 5 gram for 1 liter. D minitol is used 10 gram for 1 liter, phenol red is used 0 0.026 gram for 1 liter and agar is used to 15 gram for 1 liter. And definitely we use distal water which can mix all the ingredient in 1 liter. Now let's talk about the principle of this media means the ingredient which is present in this media. What are the function of this ingredient? As we talked that this media contain peptone and beef extract. In the previous videos, uh, in the previous uh, uh, different types of the culture, we also talked that uh, the presence of this peptone and beef extract, it actually providing nutrient, vitamins, uh, minerals, amino acid. All these ingredients are the most important uh, substance for the bacterial growth and division because it can also provide energy to the bacteria. Now the presence of NACL at a high concentration will stop the growth of gram-negative bacteria as well as some other gram-positive bacteria as well. But it will allow the growth of Staphylococcus species like Staphylococcus aureus. Moreover, this NACL will also maintain the osmotic balance means the ingredient which is present outside it will take and the ingredient which is present inside the cell that cause the harm to the cell so will be released out too. This media contains menthol salt uh, which is acting as a carbohydrate as we talked in the uh, mekon kiagar and uh, EMB in, in which lactose is acting as a carbohydrate. 
So when menthol is uh, used or fermented, so then acid is produced, which is detected by phenol red indicator. This media is also contain agar, which we talk that it is the solidifying agent and provide a stable, you know, surface due to which uh, bacterial colony will be easily grow. Now, when we add uh, five percent of the egg yolk, uh, so remember, guys, uh, due to the addition of five percent egg yolk, uh, it will detect the lipase activity of some staphylococci. Okay, which is detected by the opaque yellow zone around the colony. So this is the principle of this media. Now how we can prepare this media? Just like in the previous videos, in the previous uh, culture media, as we talked uh, that uh, we need uh, a powder, uh, you know, to culture media powder. And or if the powder is not available, so then we need uh, ingredient. So let's suppose if the powder uh, means MSA powder is available, so then you will add 111 means 111 gram in 1 liter of the distilled water and mix it okay using then heat mix it or boil it using hot plate at a temperature of 60 to 70 degrees celsius sterilize it by to clave uh, for, for uh, you know uh, 15 minute at 1 dig uh, at 121 degree celsius now after the autoclaving if you want to check the lipase activity so then add egg emulsion after the autoclaving and mix it after that at a temperature of uh, almost uh, 50 to 60 degrees celsius uh, then pour the media into the sterilized petri plate now once the media gets solidified so then streak your bacteria by taking it from the neutron agar or other media if you want it uh, to identify as a Staphylococcus aureus so then streak it or if the media uh, or if the sample which you collect from the food or uh, from the water so then you will streak it on this media for the identification of Staphylococcus or for the isolation of Staphylococcus bacteria now once the media was uh, once the bacterial sample is streaked so then uh, incubated at a 37 degrees celsius for 24 hour using incubator machine after 24 hour incubation check the colony morphology by naked eye now what type of result we get what type of the bacterial result we get on this media so as we talked that we specially use this media for staphylococcus uh, species uh, so in staphylococcus species we mostly use it for staphylococcus aureus staph epidermis micrococcus lutus as well as E. coli or escape pathogens we mostly deal with escape pathogens so remember guys uh, in escape pathogen there are five gram negative bacteria and staphylococcus is not a gram negative so staphylococcus is gram positive bacteria and we also talk that uh, this media stop the uh, growth of gram negative bacteria due to the presence of menthol as well as uh, uh, high concentration of the salt that's why uh, you know uh, only Steph Arias which is the member of the scap pathogen can easily grow on this media so if you want to see the Staphylococcus aureus so it will produce gold and yellow colonies with yellow zone it means that it is a menthol fermented bacteria Steph epidermidis will produce colorless or red colonies with red zone it means that it is non fermented uh, non non menthol fermented bacteria Micrococcus lutus produce large white to orange colony. It means that it is menthol fermented bacteria, and obviously gram negative bacteria will not grow in this media. Now, as you can see the picture, this is the growth of what? This is the growth of Staph epidermis. No zone means it is a non menthol fermented. This is the growth of Staph aureus, gold and yellow colonies, which showing that this is a menthol fermented bacteria this is actually you know whitish colony or, or sometimes it is whitish but if you see it live so it is converted to whitish to orange colonies which is the identification of micrococcus lutus and it can also you know produce a very less uh, zone uh, means it is also menthol fermented uh, bacteria and at that portion as you can see there is also the streaking uh, bacteria is also streaked but the gram negative bacteria streak and we better know that gram negative bacteria will be not grow and you can see there is no growth of the gram negative bacteria so this is all about the menthol salt agar thank you so much for watching